to go deep into the ocean. That's very dangerous. It's not a place for human being, but it became a kind of obsession. Laurent Ballester is a marine biologist, an underwater photographer, and a deep diving pioneer. When I deep dive, I feel like an explorer. It's really an, the, the last pristine place on Earth. Few go as far or as deep to uncover the secrets of our underwater universe. Every time you find new species, new ecosystem, never described, never seen, it's pure exploration. The island of Réunion in the Indian Ocean is home to one of the world's most active volcanoes. For Laurent, it offers a unique opportunity to study the birth of a whole new ecosystem. Ten years ago, there was a huge volcano eruption. It was like an atomic mushroom with a huge lava flow going in, into the ocean. The lava flow reached a very deep part. A lot of deep fish uh, die. I decided to come here to see how the life grows 10 years after the last eruption. Potentially, the, the, there is new species to discover. Laurent is no stranger to deep sea discoveries. Over the last 20 years, he's pushed deep diving to the limits to study unknown species living in the most remote places on the planet. He was the first person ever to photograph the coelacanth, a dinosaur fish that was believed extinct for 65 million years. But even Laurent has never dived beneath an active volcano, especially one that's beginning to erupt just as he's preparing to set off. We are now in uh, Alert 1. The seismologists can already see the, the lava at the top of the volcano. So for the moment, it's very far from the sea. But it means that it's the beginning of something. I'm a bit excited, but I'm a bit scared as well. What we can see now is not just clouds. There is also the smoke of the volcano. The color is a little bit different, gray and more pink. So that's the lava went down from the volcano in 2007. Went in the water and went down 800 meters deep. It's like an iceberg, you just see a little part of it. When the molten lava flowed into the sea, it destroyed everything in its path, killing all the marine life and covering the ocean floor with volcanic rock. Laurent and his team will be the first to descend over 100 meters to explore this uncharted terrain. Attention, trois fois, go! Every time you deep dive, you realize how little you are in the huge ocean. Everything is blue and dark. It looks a little bit like something post-apocalyptic. Only um, black uh, volcano rocks. You see that everything was killed. The lava just destroyed the ecosystem. It appears to be a desolate and barren landscape. But amongst the rock, Laurent spots the first glimmers of life. Opportunist species, uh, hydrozoa, algae, and after a few time, the coral reef start again to grow on the lava. And you see all these little fish, very, very colorful. That's very touching. 
Since the eruption, a variety of fish and fauna have made the underwater lava flow their home, creating a young and vibrant ecosystem. It's a great discovery for Laurent and the team. But at maximum depth, every five minutes on the sea floor means an hour in decompression stops when they ascend. So Laurent has less than 30 minutes on the ocean bed to find and photograph any unknown species. Every minute counts. Time became something so precious. Because, of course, when you're deep, your diving time is a question of minutes, nothing more. So you, you have to use this kind of gift. As the team start their slow ascent along the lava flow, making decompression stops along the way, they discover more and more marine life flourishing in the volcanic landscape. Look, look, take a moment. After four hours underwater, Laurent and the team finally surface with footage of their deep sea discoveries. Oh, that was good, huh? Oh, of course, it's not here. Yeah, it was full of fish, huh? I have three species of fish never photographed before. For Laurent, diving in the shadow of the volcano has been worth the risk, shedding new light on how life can revive after even the most cataclysmic of events, and adding to our scientific knowledge of the deep ocean. We know that there is one species disappearing every 20 minutes on Earth. And in the same time, every deep expedition, we bring back some new images there is this damsel fish, there is this barber fish, very colorful, never been photographed before. If you put money in expedition to explore, every time you find new stuff, new species, new ecosystem, never described, never seen. It's just the beginning. <laughs>